Hi guys, this is Shumon from AAC Technical. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a proper solution to fix unknown file system error in Ubuntu. Mainly, I made this tutorial only for those people who faced repeatedly unknown file system error after fixing grab bootloader. So, before watching this tutorial, at first you have to watch our previous tutorial on how to fix grab rescue unknown file system error in Ubuntu. You can take a look at the first tutorial link in the description below. After that, if you encountered with repeatedly grab rescue error, then watch this second part. So let's get started. At first, select advanced options for Ubuntu. Next, select Ubuntu recovery mode. Ok, first enable networking. Once done, next repair broken packages and hit enter. Now press enter to finish. Select update grab bootloader and press enter. This process will update and fix all the boot entries that were lost from grab bootloader. Once done, just press enter to finish. Now select resume normal boot and press enter. After that, hopefully the problem will be solved. Alright, Ubuntu 19.10 is working properly. Ok, let's see Windows 10 is working or not. Alright, both operating system are working properly. If not solved, then create a Linux bootable USB drive. And also, you can apply this method without Linux bootable USB drive. In that case, just watch our previous tutorial. After that, just apply this advanced method. However, if you want, you can follow me to create a UFI Linux bootable USB drive. At first, open any internet browser. Next, you have to download the Ubuntu 19.10 desktop image. This is the latest version. But here you will find Ubuntu only for 64 bit systems. Next, you need to download Rufus to create Linux bootable USB drive.
After downloading, insert your USB drive and run the refuse. Note: Your USB drive must be at least 8 GB of capacities and must be empty. Ok, select your USB flash drive. Now select your downloaded Ubuntu desktop image. Now select partition scheme according to your installed Ubuntu for GPT or MBR. Next click on start. Next ok and ok. Once done, next insert your Linux bootable USB drive to your computer's USB port. Next, restart your computer and go to BIOS or boot menu to select your Linux bootable USB drive to boot from that. Once you're done, Next run the Ubuntu without installation. Next run the terminal. Now type the command sudo at hyphen apt hyphen repository ppa colon yannubuntu forward slash boot hyphen repair and press enter. Now type your password and hit enter to continue. Next type sudo apt hyphen get update and press enter. Next type sudo apt hyphen get install boot hyphen repair and press enter. Now type y and press enter to continue. Now type boot hyphen repair and press enter to run the Ubuntu boot repair utility. Now select this recommended repair option or you can customize your computer's boot entry by going to advanced option. I will suggest you to select this recommended repair option. Now wait until the repair process is completed.
Okay, now click on yes to continue. Alright, as you can see, the status, boot successfully repaired. Now close this tab and type exit and restart your computer, that's it. Alright, the grab bootloader is working properly. Now let's see dual boot is working or not. Okay, both ways is working properly. So hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.